my name is Bethany Adams. I'm the program director here at the National Rural Health Resource Center for the Delta Region Community Health Systems Development Program. The Delta program has some great success stories that demonstrate sustainable performance gains. And these performance gains are a result of leaders adopting best practices embedding them in their processes to change the culture. These culture changes are really the result of these performance gains long-term. That's what makes it successful. Delta Regional Authority sees the local hospital clinics, sees healthcare as a strong economic driver of the local communities. Without the hospital, there would be far less access to care. Factories, businesses, schools would be so vulnerable without the hospital here. So we have to have a hospital in our community. It was all about our community. So at the end of the day, it was, you know, community focused. So um, we felt like it was better to work together than apart since we were um, trying to obtain the same goals. And that is to, um, you know, to better our environment, our, our you know, community. We were able to see ongoing gains, measurable gains, in terms of um, quality improvement, in terms of our financial numbers, uh, and by financial numbers I mean our bottom line, I mean the volume of patients that we were seeing day to day, the, uh, the benefit of different strategic uh, specialties that would be beneficial to this community. From a quality standpoint, we had uh, a lot of training internally for our staff, uh, making sure that from our front end registration all the way through our billing staff and our providers, our coders, our nursing staff, literally our whole team had the resources that they needed to work at the top of their game. My name is Gina Matlock and my role with Henry County Medical Center is Community Champion. In that role, I look at all of the needs of the community and the members and what population health uh, areas can we improve upon and what are we already doing or what could we do different. And so we look at those needs and I talk to um, community partners and uh, co-workers in the various departments within the hospital and see what we can do to address those needs. And one of the biggest ways that uh, this grant helped us with that um, is they helped us bring together 20 plus community partners at the front end of the grant that eventually led to our behavioral health initiative. Our patients are important to us because they're family. Typically the people that we have come in, they're, they're our neighbors, our friends, our relatives. I'm a liaison to take a group of people and relate to them, talk to them, lead them through a discussion, a focused conversation, and lead them to a consensus. The Delta program is also designed to support leaders in preparing for population health. It also helps leaders by participating in and further benefiting from value-based care. So the entire picture of healthcare goes beyond what, they, what happens at the clinic with us. They need to maintain the healthy diet, the lifestyle, you know, exercise, eating healthy. NRMC provides health fairs and community outreach programs to kind of help expand past just the medical part of whole wellness. I get so excited when I hear from the leaders about how the program helped them do their jobs better, about how it helped them to better serve their communities. That's what really makes the Delta program so special and so worthwhile. If you had to pay for everything that uh, DRCHSD did for us, I don't know if you could have, we could have afforded it. I look at that as a, as a huge gift for our organization and really for this community, more so than anything else. 
by making the quality improvements, by changing the perception of the community in conjunction with a community champion who's out there letting people know what we're doing. We've gone from a band-aid station to a full-fledged hospital and a robust rural health clinic that has eight different specialty cares uh, to meet the needs of our patients. We have changed so dynamically from when we first started. It's, it's really hard to, to not just smile about it. It's, it's just really awesome.